everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. The ability to keep moving forward even after a setback is a great gift. Some people call it stubbornness and others call it persistence. Whatever you call it, today's Saint Ursula Letohovska definitely had a little more of it than most. Ursula was born as Julia Letohovska in 1865. She was part of a very large, very holy family living in Austria, including a sister who would be beatified and an uncle who would become a cardinal. In 1885, her father took her family back to Poland, his homeland, where he gave his blessing to Julia who wanted to become a nun, and he died soon afterward. The following year, Julia entered the novitiate of the Ursulines. She soon received the habit and took up the name of Ursula Maria of Jesus. So began her religious life, which she lived devoutly and devotedly, working as a teacher in the school attached to the convent. She also opened a house for women studying at the local university in Krakow, which quickly became popular. In 1904, Ursula became the convent's mother superior. However, she would only hold this position for a few years. In 1907, she was sought out for her abilities as a teacher and organizer and asked to provide guidance for a boarding school in Russia. With the Pope's blessing, she traveled to St. Petersburg. Ursula picked up Russian in order to communicate more easily and soon became a beloved figure to the students at the school. But not everyone looked at her with a friendly eye. In Russia at the time, it was illegal to run a Roman Catholic institution of any kind. Ursula had to wear normal clothes instead of her habit, and she and her fellow sisters were constantly monitored. Eventually, she had to move to Finland, controlled by the Russians at that time, in order to escape some of the government's oppression. She continued to work among the people, setting up a clinic for the local workers, many of whom were Protestant. Unfortunately, her efforts continued to attract attention, and in 1914, she was completely forced out of the Russian Empire. She settled in Sweden and, hardly discouraged by her exile from Russia, just kept on doing what she did best. She established several schools for girls in Stockholm, as well as an orphanage in Denmark. In 1920, she returned to Poland together with a large group of her fellow nuns. These nuns, after working with Ursula for a while, were well equipped to carry on her mission and had become, in many ways, their own entity. Ursula obtained permission from Rome to found a new order for them, the Ursulines of the Agonizing Heart of Jesus. Ursula's efforts to improve education and teach the faith continued until 1939, when she was discovered dead in her room with a rosary in hand. Miracles of healing were attributed to her after her death, and she was beatified in 1983 and canonized in 2003. It's not always a good idea to keep banging your head against a wall hoping it'll break, but there are some things in the world we can safely be stubborn about. Ursula was stubborn about being kind. Wherever she was, whether people welcomed her or not, she wanted to make life better for everyone around her. And that's something we can all get behind. St. Ursula Letohovska, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.